the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Please listen carefully because God is speaking to you. The test of courage. Deuteronomy chapter 20. Let's hurry up. Someone's life must change this night. The first four verses. Deuteronomy 20. When thou goest out to battle against thine enemies and seest horses and chariots and a people more than thou, he says, be not afraid of them. For the Lord thy God is with thee. Hold on. You would think that that God would take away the chariots. He says, I'm with you, but you will still see chariots. You will still see horses. You will still see people more than you. Oh, David, when you see the size of Goliath, don't be afraid. Remember the one that is with you. Forget about the size of the adversary. Oh, someone is ready to shake. The devil will make you focus on the Egyptians. Focus on chariots. As though God were not with you. He said, wait, hold on, hold on. Look up, please. Please settle down, look at me. The only way to see horses and chariots is when you go out to battle, not when you stay in. The courage to even go out is why you will see adversaries. Can I tell you, there are people who it looks like they don't have challenges. It's not that the devil is not attacking them. It's that they themselves have not even taken the first step of courage to their destiny. They are, how did you know there are altars fighting you? Is it not when you made a commitment that I will be different? The altars had you. They said, we stopped your father. We stopped your grandmother. Who is this man who is rising like a reed taken out of fire? When you go out to battle, it is not unusual to find forces that are greater than you. No. That sickness in your body, those bills, you stand and you make up your mind that everybody lived in a rented apartment forever. But in the name of Jesus, I will build. And you ask, how much can I buy a house? And they tell you 30 million. And you check your account and see that you have 4,000. You laugh at yourself feeling like a fool. Remember, the jealousy of God is standing by you to defend you. Please sit down. And it shall be when ye are come nigh unto the battle he said the priest shall approach and speak to the people we are reading to four and shall say unto them hear O covenant people ye approach this day unto battle against your enemies let not your hearts faint fear not and do not tremble neither be ye terrified of them why verse 4 for the lord your god is he that goeth before you to fight for you against your enemies and save you can i tell you ask any man of god that you respect ask your man of god coming here look look let me tell you the stories of men are the exploits of courage in the midst of pain there are people today they were told they would not survive certain things they refuse that i will not die 
they saw death again and again i have a choice but i've made up my mind no way there are people who refuse when one door closes they don't have time morning they force another one to open listen we live in a world where people find pleasure justifying mediocrity and they sit down there and use very justifiable reasons to remain there they destroyed our house in 2007 that's why i don't have a house till now it looks like an obvious answer but it's not the right one please listen carefully god is speaking to us test number one is the test of courage someone shout and say in the name of jesus i conquer fear the fear of opinions the fear of failure the fear of the past the fear of the future turn it into prayer right now turn it into prayer right now in the name of jesus i conquer fear i conquer fear fear over my tomorrow fear over my destiny the lord is with me standing by me like a mighty terrible one in the name of jesus in the name of jesus deuteronomy 31 let's hurry up please sit down someone's spirit is firing up this night deuteronomy 31 from verse 6 to 8 listen by the time i'm done teaching you believe me a grace will come on your life this night you will walk out of this place knowing that you encountered the grace of god in reality be strong and of a good courage fear not nor be afraid of them for the lord thy god he it is that god goeth with you he will not fail thee nor forsake thee verse 7 we are reading to 8 and moses called out joshua and said unto him in the sight of all israel be strong and of good courage for thou must go with these people unto the land which the lord has sworn unto their fathers to give them and thou shalt cause them to inherit it verse 8 and the lord he it is that goeth before you he will be with you and he will not fail thee neither forsake thee fear not neither be dismayed please look up whenever god speaks to you about your future god does not talk to men like he's talking to men god talks to men like he's talking to himself one of the ways you will know is god speaking is because when god gives you a destiny instruction he will even start by saying fear not because the size of what he will tell you there is no logic and no you will feel stupid for believing in him there are many times you will regret training your ears to hear god because the excuse you would have used now you can't say it's not him that spoke to you that god speaks to you and tells you in your lifetime i will use you to build a house for all your 13 brothers and he said god don't flatter me just tell me i will succeed i will pay my school fees as at the time god is speaking you are hoping you are still 20 percent gathering the money for your rent i told you that god does not speak sympathizing with your current situation he speaks as touching your destiny when he finds you hiding he does not say oh thou hiding one he says oh thou man of valor the same way god is seeing someone who is weak and saying oh thou prophet do you not know that that grace and that unction of the prophetic is on you and you are saying god don't flatter me the prophetic nobody everybody was an idol worship by my family the test of courage whoever is fearful go back Twenty-two thousand people sir went back let's continue judges 6 and judges 7 now verse 4 are you ready so the first test 
is a test of courage maybe i should add two or three, two scriptures just to buttress on the issue of courage second timothy 1 and verse 7 very popular scripture second timothy 1 and verse 7 before we look at the second test for god had not given joshua selman the spirit of fear that means fear is a gift look up look at me that when you find fear at work in you you received it anything given can be rejected is that true the bible said god has not given that means someone else gave it god has not given us the spirit of fear look how powerful fear is it takes three spiritual forces to dislodge fear power love and a sound mind don't downplay fear fear is the spirit that foreruns every other spirit every other spirit stands waiting for fear to open a door no spirit will enter a door that fear has not opened did you hear what i said every spirit is at the mercy of fear they wait patiently for fear to open that door then every other spirit can come god has not given us the spirit of fear let me tell you your destiny will require courage you will stand face to face before mountains you will stand face to face before some of you life-threatening issues maybe some of you are already even standing in front of those things who are down mountain you should say before the rubber bell when that beast was roaring six fingers and six toes even the veterans of war in israel became afraid and a young teenager who came to serve his brother's food he heard the voice of that beast and he went and stood there and he said what is happening who is this they said goliath goliath and he looked at him he said please give me a chance to do something to this man he went to saul the brothers drove him and said go back before he kills you for nothing and he went to king saul and saul said from what tribe i want to know the covenant that backs you that's all i need to know when he stood before him with a sling goliath said am i a dog i will kill you but respect me you must be such a stupid boy you come to me with a sling look at your warriors you've been you've been a shepherd with sheep your veterans are afraid and when he was done talking you would think that david would kneel down and say i'm sorry i'm just a teenager david said let me even tell you how you would die this sling will bring you down your very sword is what i will use to remove your head ah goodness courage can i tell you this some of you after this conference you may not have money to buy sharp sand but go and stand where that land is hear me you may not have a ministry now and nobody is placing a demand on you but go to the bush where your audience is stand there and hold a stick and begin to preach like i did many years ago and decree and declare by the spirit sense the anointing there train your gifts in the bush train your anointing right there because sooner or later the one who is a way maker will make the way for you can i tell you this fear puts men in bondage hebrews 2 15 i believe and to deliver them who through the fear of death 2 15 hebrews where all their lifetime that means fear can capture a man's lifetime do you know what a lifetime is from when you were born till when you die fear can literally possess a man's lifetime not just moments in your destiny a whole lifetime courageous people are those who win in our world today those who are overly conscious of what people say 
I made a statement who liked it who commended it you you are ready for failure forever there are times you will have to stand alone can I tell you something you see the ways of God does not always show the wisdom behind it immediately there are times that you will look foolish for 10 years is the 11th year that will show you were wise for 11 years but the courage to stay when Noah was shouting and saying rain is coming hear me rain is coming for 120 years he was shouting they laughed at him he said i'm giving you a chance all the animals were wise they didn't argue as soon as they got the call in peace seven by seven two by two the animals who could run faster than men who could climb trees who were even more technical they quietly came and all the men who were helpless they stood there arguing it was god who closed the door and the bible says the rain was structured such that heaven gave its own rain earth gave its own rain what whoever it meets in the middle and that was where it killed everybody can i tell you this most of us in our world will never be great because of the fear of being alone there are people who will leave god a thousand times to gain friends there are people who abort their destiny a thousand times because of acceptance our our generation has such an obsession for acceptance don't get me wrong acceptance is one of the psychological indices that make for fulfillment i understand but let me tell you sincerely if it is destiny there are many times is at the end that the vision speaks but you don't start building at the end you start building alone foolishly sometimes and as your wisdom unfolds god now honors you once upon a time in this lagos there were people who were tying water is that true water like what you call pure water today they were tying it in a leather you see remember and someone looked and said no water is an essential we can package this in in a in a more intelligent way do you know the risk it took what if they failed question did they fail the man who builds a hotel with 130 rooms question who signed that i will come and sleep in your hotel the pastor who buys a land and builds a church did anybody sign a covenant with him that i'll guarantee you midweek i'm there church service i am there somebody say courage, courage. my dear worshipers when you write your songs does anybody give you any guarantee that i will come and sing Everything you are celebrating today is the other side of courage the other side of courage the other side of courage seven up you know seven up that you take i'm sure you know how the name seven up came seven up just means six down seven up the man failed six times woefully he named that product after his results today you drink it but behind what you are drinking is the pain of a man look at me i always wondered why god through the prophet would tell naaman to go and bath seven times god you are mighty what is seven i later found out that is there is something about the law of process that was taught in that miracle do you know that after naaman took his bath six times you thought there would be evidence of cure to encourage him he was still as dirty and scaly and as tattered as that five minutes to your miracle it will still not look like it this is the thing about god that you have to understand can i tell you this go and ask elijah he prayed and said check for me nothing prayed and said check for me nothing seven times even the sixth time nothing the same way you are seated today you don't know it's tomorrow that prophecy has written that you will be smiling as it is right now nothing is in your life ah. my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by my 
my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by the prophet said by this time tomorrow you thought a cloud would suddenly start moving and the nation of israel said wow a cloud is forming after the prophet spoke i'm sure even him he went back and said god i've spoken don't let these people kill me a woman that can eat her child is it a prophet she will not eat by the next day everybody woke up where is that stupid prophet playing with our intelligence in the name of the lord you said today this is that day they forgot it was god that made the day four lepers why sit we here and die let's go and die in the place where there is plenty there's a lesson there it's better to die in a place of supply than to run away out of fear the, the guys were wise they said anyway we are going to die so it's wiser and cheaper and when they took that step of faith the lord amplified them and it was like the sound of chariots and they said ah samaria has now gathered allies to come and fight us when they got there all they saw was supplies can i tell you this someone by this teaching you are receiving the courage to do something that four years ago you wrote it god told you start you've been afraid and sitting there go and register the company oh god you know the way nigeria is now i'm waiting until my uncle he said he's contesting for election woe to him who puts his strength in a man if god gives you the marching order sustain the courage and the grace to go can i tell you sometimes you will fail obeying god oh i wish you would not there are times you will fail obeying god when you fail obeying god allow the one who takes the glory to also take the shame You've always heard me say this if you are the one taking the shame you have been taking the glory to it's a deal whoever takes when you say god take everything you mean take both the glory and the shame if on account of my hearing you this shame comes upon me take responsibility for my obedience please sit down let me give us the last test the price for new dimensions price number one is the price of courage unbending resoluteness that is not outsourced but generated lord i know you have spoken to me that from this family where no one has risen that you are going to lift me and the nations will celebrate your workings upon my life i believe what is the next step start moving to where keep moving do you believe i am god keep moving to where to lagos lord i'm in lagos what is the next step trust me what kind of answer is that and all your classmates call you and say oh is it your picture i saw in nmpc you say for where i'm still here I'm in Lagos and they said but you too you know some of you sometimes you can be very stupid and you just stand and say Lord everybody may seem to have moved forward maybe that's someone's testimony now God just locked you up and all you are doing is praying and fasting praying and fasting studying scripture praying and fasting reading books praying and fasting praying and fasting and then learning materials you know so much but the platform to put it to work is not there god is doing something with you let me warn you if god says wait wait every time you rush seasons you will always give birth to the ishmael that will fight isaac god is a god of speed but god does not rush two days to your breakthrough satan can bring an offer in one day that can make you birth ishmael and forever you will have to live with that battle 
part of the way we gain speed is by waiting it's a mystery that when we wait we truly run is someone learning obtain courage do not fear refuse fear when angels appear they tell men fear not it is for a reason test number two judges seven four Hmm. are you ready for the second test now this one in fact if you did not get anything i shared here please don't forget this this is a life-changing secret that i want to share with you now you will thank your man of god for the rest of your life if you get what i'm showing you now and the lord said unto gideon the people are yet too many the first test reduced them but there are still ten thousand others he said bring them onto the water and i will try them for you there listen carefully and it shall be that of whom i say to you this is the one who goes with you from that test then he shall go with you what is the test verse 5 please give us verse 5 so he brought the people onto the water are you ready now and the Lord said to Gideon they are going to approach their interaction with this water in two ways study them and use their encounter with this water to filter them everyone that lapped on the water with his tongue as a dog lapped him shall thou set by himself likewise everyone that bowed down upon his knees to drink look up let me teach you a mystery here do you know what this means don't forget that when he called them they came out of their homes they had started walking some of them returned that means everybody had left home their energy had been spent are you getting the point now now he brought them to the place of some level of resolve it's in the fellowship no more prayer no more hearing god you are now bowing down to drink that water i'm happy with the ten thousand that is coming i'm happy with the 30 members there is no pressing no fasting no building gideon studied their approach to that which gives them comfort at this level the assignment of water is to quench your test when you are a thirsty man who has been working for a long time when you see water you will not know there are other treasures in the war front greater than that water is someone getting that now the second test you see let me tell you this there is you have to conquer the deception of current success you you want to go forward you must conquer the deception of complacency that comes as a result of your current achievements it is not only failure that kills success kills more than failure many people stop working with god many people deflated their passion for growth their passion to be mentored their passion to learn after all there's results now i've started prophesying it's not very clear but i've started prophesying here and there the anointing has started working it looks like a few members are coming now and god is saying this is only a test gideon study them this test you will not find out immediately it will take time for you to know those who will separate who will be separated and he said anyone have you ever seen a dog settle when a dog is eating it does not eat and lie down and just remain there is ready to move in fact parts of the body is already moving once it is done it moves to what it was doing before that temporary success it says those who lap they are still on their feet they are just fetching it my feet my instrument of motion is still in place but those who bow down upon their knees to bow down means to make it lord over you you have made the success lord over you you have made the little exposure consume you such that you've forgotten that you were on a mission is someone learning now
desire is to give you glory and he says then i will keep giving you the platform to keep giving me glory please look at me we're wrapping up there are many preachers who have failed this test there are many business people you are a preacher here please don't as much as possible don't miss the the pastor's conference tomorrow by the privilege of god's grace i'll be sharing with you certain keys that will help you tonight's service before you receive is a service of genuine repentance lord i didn't know that the river you brought me to was only a test the one house you gave me the visa you gave me to tour europe and when i returned back i said nobody should come and invite me anywhere where they will give me one thousand dollars again oh dear after all i went round believers and all those who are connecting learn a lesson from this it is a real price to watch success and still be on a mission while people clap for you do you know most times when i finish meetings sincerely i'm telling you no matter how great and how wonderful the meeting is Where something else but ICC they would not give it for that frequency of programs and then this one that God brought us by his grace it was about the biggest auditorium that can be given for that is not built as a church auditorium not even discussing the price per use you wouldn't believe it and then I sent a delegation to meet the man and the man said no way Pentecostals scattered chairs, they scattered this. I invested so much, I'm not ready to lose my money for nothing. And I said, God, but you spoke to me. I'm not saying, the, I hope you. I, I hope. The highest royalty, I am undone before your glorious majesty. Someone pray. The test of courage. The Lord, when you speak, I will not only listen, I will move. If I fail, let me fail hearing you. My soul, fear not. My soul, fear not over your finances my soul fear not over your spiritual life my soul fear not in the name of jesus christ fear not he stands behind you like a mighty terrible one In the name of Jesus. Now pray over the second test. Lord, as you lift me, take away the influence of my results over my life. Let it not influence me to a point that I forget you, to a point that I stop living by the values that brought me that honor. Someone lift your voice and cry before your maker. Let it not be that when you have built houses, and your flocks and herds are multiplied, that you will say, my power and the might of my hand has given me this way. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. Thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. Hallelujah. Father, we ask you to help us. 
you have used the life of Gideon and the strategy that empowered him to use 300 men and defeat the Midianites Lord there are mountains there are heights there are levels and there are realms that we have not gotten to that we need to get to we are in seasons in our lives where we need to make notable advancements notable progress Lord we pray that the test of courage may we pass that test the test of courage may we pass that test the test of courage may we pass that test and then oh God I pray that as you honor us and as you give us results before the nations before our contemporaries before all men may you grant us the stamina to not be distracted by results Amen. that we will celebrate your hand and your workings in our lives but not to the detriment of our advancement help us oh God that in the midst of our results may we remain focused Amen. may we remain disciplined Amen. may we remain spiritual Amen. may we remain committed Amen. may we remain humble Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. and Lord as we humble ourselves before you let there be no limit to the degree and the dimension with which you will lift us Amen. Now in the name of Jesus, I stand in faith with the angel over this house and then the graces that are here represented and I decree and declare over your life that the courage to keep moving until you leap over a wall, until you cross barriers to the next season, may that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for you. For anyone here. Who probably because of mistakes that you have made. The glory that you once enjoyed. It is now Ichabod. It looks like the dimension of lifting you experienced. Has seemed to leave you. The relationships, the connections. Right now I declare. The same grace that grew back the hair of Samson. I stand by the power of the prophetic. Let there be restoration now. Restoration of relationships. Restoration of dignity. Restoration of finances. Restorations of joy. And by the power of the prophetic. Like Moses commanded the nation of Israel to go forward in the name of jesus christ go forward go forward to new heights to new levels to new dimensions spiritually go forward financially go forward in the name of jesus christ and every power that has fought you until this conference to not allow you breakthrough powers of ancestry orchestrations in heavenly places i stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and i have a in the name of jesus be delivered from those powers now let there be testimonies for you in the mighty name of jesus christ testimonies in ministry testimonies in family testimonies in your work with god finally i pray for you everything that has stolen your passion for god your passion for prayer your passion for the secret place your zeal for spiritual things distractions that have come through relationships distractions that have come through your results in the name of jesus i fan the flames of your spiritual life i fan the flames of your prayer life I find the flames of your word life in the name of Jesus Christ to everyone who is sick in body I declare be healed now by the power of the Holy Spirit please we have to wrap up now 
I didn't have the time to prophesy and pray but if the man of God does allow you please even if you are not a pastor if they do allow you please do come tomorrow because I'll have a session to teach and let me have some time to prophesy and also pray for the sick and just declare release over your destiny may the Lord bless you and honor you in Jesus name dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development lord grant me the discipline